Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday, last day of the week. What a week it's been, hasn't it? Um, Friday the 18th of March, we're looking at the Dow up six, uh, down 62 points at 34,419. It spiraled Thursday and Friday above. It went right to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. That became a support yesterday, and it spiraled to the close at the high of the day in leg C. Really important to see what happens today because we've gone from a buy signal. Remember I just spoke about Chapman Wave methodology where you can get something called a restart. You can go to peak A or peak A and B and then pull back sharply. You can do that a few times as long as you don't take out the original starting point of 32,272. Actually, let me do this. It's Technical Friday, so we'll do some technical stuff here. Let me move that over. So in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always trying to identify the lowest low bar to start a wave count. And that says that from that low bar, as long as that low bar holds, every successively higher peak gets alphabetized sequentially all the way from A to G. But it's at that fourth highest peak, PD, where other things can happen. You can see it can continue down very sharply. Uh, we got that right there. Look, the other Dow at 36,952.65 on the 5th of January. And uh, we are sort of warning people that we could start to move down. And look at this. Um, there are other... There are other um, Actions that can occur if within three bars at peak D he sees a higher high, he gets automatically you, you can count to have an alternate count. The new peak goes to E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and then there's another D. So you can have another buy mode from this level. There are many instances of that. Most importantly, what we're looking at here, he has a C. The, uh, the technique that I discuss is how the stochastic can give you the starting point for a buy signal. Then we need price movement, you need a confirmation of the price movement, and then you want the MACD, the histogram, to cross positive. That's the 9 period goes over the 14 period. That's the 9 period differential. It goes over the, the 26 period longer moving average, the red one. And that kicks off an upgrade that goes from a buy signal to a buy mode. It did that in one day yesterday. So now we're in a buy mode, and the anticipation doesn't have to happen, but the anticipation is that there should be, and now I can draw it in. I should have drawn it in last night. I did it in other charts, but now I'll do it here. You see this one-to-one? -one? Uh, this is the for for those of you who listen to Tiger um, Financial News, TFNN, a lot, and over the decades, you know that most of the um, hosts talk about an A to B equals C to D as a lightning rod. Um, measurement. I, I've done a different action. I have a, a thing that I call a parallel wave count. In other words, it's there's a if there is a, a move up and it breaks the channel and it starts to turn down in a dreaded H pattern, you can get a parallel move in the same angle. Look, this is the same angle, a one to one extension. I call it a Chapman wave parallel wave, one to one extension. And what we've got is the extension went to the 32,272 low. It rallied sharply, and then it made this H pattern, but a successful one because it didn't break the dreaded H. This one did. It went to a lower low. This one didn't. And that says you can get the Chapman Wave restart, meaning that each time um, it tries to rally, it's in, in quicksand or it's on the ice, and the, the wheel, you get wheel spin. And until you can get some traction, the torque, of the stochastic doesn't kick in. And when it finally kicks in, the torque takes you quickly to the upside, and then the momentum is the MACD that takes over. And that's basically what we're looking at here, and that makes this 200 period moving average right here at about 34,200. Really important, is it? Let me just give you the exact number. 
I'm sp- this is Technical Friday, so I'm spending up 34361 sorry. And what was the low today? The low was 34279 So it went under it, and now it's nicely above it. We're only down 14 points. Reason why we've been long. Oh, I didn't put that in here. I have it in my other charts. We're long from before the opening right here. And that was three days ago. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days ago. So what's really important about this is that we've seen an upgrade to a buy mode. The implication is as soon as I say buy mode and I put in an up arrow, oh, I did it in my other charts. That's what it is. This is the chart that I show my subscribers every day right here. Um, and I did that in this particular, there's the up arrow. Yeah, the all different techniques that we use. And here's the nine period that cross positive. That's really a big thing. Uh, it's gone green. This is the same chart, but it has the MACD and stochastic. Stochastic is now finally at 82%, over 80%. Wow. And you're bumping into automated 34,529 34, uh, automatic Chapman wave notation of resistance level right there. The... Um, 120 minute chart is in a peak F slash C it could go to a D holding the 200 period moving average. The MACD is great. Stochastic is fantastic at 98.43. You're only 1.6% away from 100%. It never goes to 100%. So this and here on the right, you can see the L. It says long because that's the confirmation that the nine has gone over the 14 period moving average. I want you to spend time on this. I don't have to spend time on the others because the 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 articulation of the different uh, methodologies applies the same. Now we're looking at the weekly chart of the Dow right at uh, 30, the high of the day is 34,469. What is the 14 period exponential moving average? Click on it right there and it says 34,527. So we've still got we still got about another 50 or 60 points to go to hit that 14 period moving average resistance. We're above the pink one. To get the pink to go uh, green is going to take an incredible amount of work. So there are a couple of things going on. I Because it's more than mid-month, I can look at this chart on the right and say the monthly chart of the Dow, when you consider there's a war, there's um, inflation, there uh, all the things... Interest rates, everything that you would talk about in the most negative terms has been reflected by the Dow going from 36,952, this is the monthly chart, to uh, the low um, on the 24th of Feb at 32,272. I must say that under all these conditions, and what I had said about uh, 10 days ago, I started saying going into last Friday that. For those people who have been, listened to me and said way back um, in the fall, I said, if you want to start taking money off, take some money off. I think we're going into a very choppy period. It can go higher, but I'm, I'm anticipating that there's a chop. And we will start, you can start then to add back over a period of time. And I said, you know what? The last tranche that you put in, this, because there's a war, there's all these things going on just for money management. I don't have anything in the technical, but for money management, Maybe take a little bit off from the last tranche that you put in. I still stay with that because we're not done. There's a lot to go for this month. I'll be back now to get all the questions that I had, and that'll that'll include uh, steals, some some stuff. I'll be back. Bows down. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, 
educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, folks, let's go through this very quickly. The S&P uh, right now is in a, uh, is it in a buy mode? Uh, it's very close. It's in a buy signal. I haven't yet got a confirmation of, I have to wait for the close today. But it looks good and looks to me like it should go to a buy mode. I mean, at this particular point, I'm just calling it a buy signal. And that weekly chart is not anything close to, uh, uh, well, it's getting close to the 44.39 level uh, of the um 14 period moving average, the black 14 period moving average in the weekly. And once again, here yeah, I'm looking at the monthly, and the monthly really has held very well, even though there were two Chapman Wave Roman candles. Uh, I, I don't ignore that. Uh, just, uh, yeah, real quickly, let me show you this because it's Technical Friday. I had an alternate count at the top here, G slash C. Uh, most importantly, what I, I put is a down arrow because all the technicals start to turn down. And that was at about 4409. It's now at 4401. And the weekly chart, the weekly, the 10 minute chart, and I, I like to think of these as sequences in time frames, has gone to a leg E at a high of 4416.00, round number high. And it's trading down only about 15 points from that. And there are signals to say that at least in the short term, the 10 minute can pull back. But so far, it's been a really surprising move. This is the time I do say surprising because it's the speed with which we pull back that, say, 20% off the last hour's move on on Thursday and almost went back to unchanged. Now the Dow's down 101. So S&P, IWM, I did not you just do this. Well, I did it in the update. I, the Qs are holding very nicely. And that, to me, is part of this rotation, that I think. And so a bunch of questions have come in, and I'll, I'll talk to them as we move through this. I believe that the spectacular decline in so many of those really beaten down um, that were leaders, NASDAQ 100-type stocks, I think they're trying to find some kind of support. In trying to find that support, there's a chance that we still see some selling into the big caps, the last of the big caps, and these are not just tech, but these are the big caps that were moving up very nicely going into January. So they delayed their turn down, and I think they're still somewhat vulnerable. So the rotation says you've got to be very selective. 
And as a result, I'm going to go through some of the charts in a moment, but let's just finish up with the TLT, which is trying to rally off the low. There is a gap. If that gap gets filled, and we can see a trade in the 134.70 to 135.35 level in the TLT on a closing basis any day next week, and there's just a mild pullback, and then towards Friday or Monday of the following week, we start to see 136, 137. That would say to me that the Fed is doing something that is trying to get the rates just a little bit lower so that when they add the quarter point and then talk about 50, uh, uh, you know, half a point, you've already come off a low in the TLT so that it gives you a little bit of a cushion. But looking out, it says to me that the TBT, and there's a couple of questions came in about the TBT, you didn't get to a D. We didn't get to a D. I've got an alternate count, F slash C. Most importantly, look at this. The Japan Wave inside track target repellent line in the weekly chart, it got hit exactly. It's pulling back. Now, th this, this is like a moving target because I didn't get an exact uh, fulcrum low plumb, plumb line to go to say that the uh, quad on the left, the, the half arch or the semicircle, quarter semicircle, um, isn't at the midpoint. It could be at the midpoint, and that would stretch you all the way to somewhere in June uh, on a weekly basis. It could be even April, May. Yeah, maybe in late May. To get back to the high that was made in the TBT, the inverse of the TLT, and that would be at 22.60. So as I'm looking at it right now, um, there could be just a stalling motion, but there's a really good chance that the TBT, which is basically the yield, is going to go higher. The next resistance comes in at about 21.33, 2.133. Um, that'll be a resistance. All right. So I did that. Now I want you to do the crude oil, just quickly crude oil, digesting big gains with this monthly show. Oh, looking like a Chapman wave. Uh, Roman candle on a weekly basis while the week is young because we've still got a whole couple of hours to go to the close on Friday. So far, this could turn into a Chapman wave Roman candle and says if at any point next week crude oil closes on a daily basis below 98.50, this is a continuous contract, there's a real good chance it's going to test the low and even go a little low and try to test 90. Oh, I'd rather see that than actually see it push higher into the 110 area. What am I missing? Oh, high-grade copper. High-grade copper did very nicely uh, yesterday and today. It's at 4.739. Look at all the contradictory uh, actions we've got here. And what we're really looking at is high-grade copper is in a trading band. And I had a question about SCCO, but I look at that, yes. SCCO is doing very nicely here. It did make that missing PD, I, I, missing for me, because I didn't put it in. Can you just hit that? Yep, there it is. There's your D. D. And um, it should have a down arrow because everything went negative and it went, ah, I have to put the down arrow in, even if it goes higher, because it closed underneath the 14 period moving average three times. So that says, all right, you can go higher. And now there's a pattern that says maybe we've got a Chapman wave falling axe formation. What is that? Technical Friday, let's go into that. That's this particular pattern right here. Run up sharply and then start to make lower highs and much lower lows. Find some support and then try to take out this downtrend, upper downtrend line. If you do, there's a chance you can go back to that previous higher peak. Uh, but it has to break out decisively above 74.50. And this is Southern Copper. Let me move that away. <clears throat> SCCO is a symbol trading at 73.45 up 37. And this is a good sign for the general economy, even with everything else that's going on. And this is just a commodity scarcity issue. I think it's a little bit more than that. So that's, that's what we're looking at there. Okay, here we go. Questions? Um, questions? I want you to do, first of all, one question that came in, which was overstock, OSTK. Uh, I have a position, the question I wanted to know what, where, where should I add? So this is a very interesting chart formation. This has a way of being in favor 
in such a degree that it goes from like a single digit spirals into the 130, 120, 30 area and then gives a chunk of it back. But look at this. I'm going to show you the monthly chart. Overstock, OSTK is a symbol. At the moment, it's trading up 35 cents at 52.45. Look at this monthly chart. It makes a low back in 2012. I've, I didn't realize it went back so far. It goes back a long time. I know I'd always seen the name, uh, but I just didn't. 497 back in September of 2012. It goes to a peak C1. It goes to peak A, B, and a peak C. Now, in historically, this is what I tend to do. I just want to know that it made a top that I can restart the count. So I call it a C1. And even though the um, C2 is a, quite a bit lower rather than just a couple of pennies, I do put it in because it, it starts fresh from a new low and goes to a peak P around about 90 and then pulls back again. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, right, folks. Well, so I'm not going to take too much time. I just want to say that these incredible... You remember I, I showed you the chart of advanced micro devices some time ago, and I said how incredible it was that micro advanced micro devices would go... And this goes back 30, 40 years. Um, it can go from the single digits to the triple digits and then back again, up and down. It can do that periodically. Uh, just real quickly, let me show you what I'm talking about. Where did I type that? Of course, I typed it into the den by mistake. AMG. Look at this. Okay, now it's spectacular. But look, 
all, look at these other times. He went from uh, single digits back in 2002 to 4270 in March of 2006. Then it has a little bit of a dip and it goes back to about 7 or 8 uh, in 2009. And then it rallies to 10 and then pulls back, retests that left side low. And then it has a little bounce to a D and pulls back and then it screams all the way to 34, pulls back sharply to the 40 period moving average in the monthly, and then has a little bit of a rally to the last high in the 160 area. Now let's go back to this. So I, I always look and I say, stocks have that have a wildness to them, um, keep that as a characteristic that you want to be aware of. That's all. I, it doesn't say it's going to happen right now, but it does say keep it as an awareness. So you see this arrow uh, up? So that's a brand new because it took out the left side low that started a, a peak A, B, C, D. Now you have to consider this is a fresh start. Once you take out that low, you have to have a fresh start. This goes to peak A and it pulls back and then it makes underneath it another A. Then it pulls back, holds the 14 period moving average and the nine and it goes to peak A and then it goes to a B. B is actually underneath that, that second A right there and it pulls back to a lower low. But that isn't a B minus because that's still the starting point. So on a monthly basis, it says it did not hold the left side low. It did the dreaded A, more like a rectangle formation, took out the low of January of 2021 of 46.75, made the most recent low of 35.67. So the monthly chart is saying there is no signal here. If anything, the monthly chart is saying... Be a little careful because the month is still young, but there is an S saying sell, uh, meaning the nine is about to cross over to cross under the 14 period moving average, but we still got the rest of the month to go. Now the weekly chart. Weekly chart had an, an, a cup formation, went to higher highs, then pulled back and did the one to one to the downside from the cup formation, remember the inverted H pattern. And now it's trying to rally nicely. But the nine period moving average has to cross the 14 period moving average and go green. That's number one. The histogram, I love the fact that the histogram is improving and that that nine period differential of the MACD, the green line, is so close to turning up. Once it crosses up, you've got yourself at least some semblance of energy to the upside. Stochastic's still very weak. It's only at 22%. On balance volume is, is everywhere. So the weekly chart says, yeah, it's starting a cup formation, but you really need the guidance. It's like a, like a super tanker, like the monthly is a super tanker. This is like a midship. This is like a little tanker that goes back and forth and from the Suez Canal down the, to the Cape Gullis Coast. Um, and what we're looking at is the weekly chart has to give you the direction. So because you're in it and you want to add, I have a completely different, if you said to me right now, would you buy it, would you sell it, would you hold, would you not do anything, I'd not do anything. Yes, it's up six cents today, 52.16, that's a good sign, and it's had a really good three days. And the nine's just about to cross the 14 period moving average. And I would say, because it's trapped in this rectangle, and within that there's even a smaller rectangle, I would probably say, because you've got a position, if it goes higher, I would rather add to the position as it moves higher. At this point, I don't want to add to the position if it goes lower because it could get stuck for a while. It doesn't have to break down, but it just might not go anywhere. And you've got your position. You don't want to add to a stuck position. That's my belief. So as, I, as it stands right now, I would say to you, hold off maybe early next week, but have a look at it again. If on Tuesday it's trading... Oh, it's at 52.006 right now, down just a few cents. If on by Tuesday it's actually trading, it's not just popped up there and pulled back, but it's actually holding about 54.25, to me that'll be a much better sign to say, okay, the stochastic can start. If the stochastic was flat in the 80% area, I'd say I have no qualms, but not like this. If it pulls back at any point between now and Tuesday, we'll look at it again Tuesday, and it's holding above the the 9P moving areas, which is at 49.51. I could do an assessment then. But if it was a fresh position and you said, I like this very much, I've done my homework, where should I enter? 
that's completely different because then what I would say to you is right here, start your position at 52.05. I would not let it drop under 50. That's a 4.5% risk on a small starter position. Um, and that would be fine. But if it's asking me what would you do and you haven't done any homework to say it's things like really improving at overstock.com, I'd say step aside. Next question was CLF. C CLF is trading. This is Cleveland Cliffs Inc. Flat Roll Steel. Um, it hit a high of 27.78 the other day. This is one of those that we had. We didn't. We don't have any more Cleveland uh, Cleveland Cliffs. CLF is trading at 26.93, down 53. Look at the way the steel ETF is done. It looks like Cleveland Cliffs. Look at this cup formation going to a kind of a triple top. In fact, I could draw this line right here. And so oh, I've already drawn it. This line right here. Let's go to the body of this candle. And it takes it right there. And it says, let's make it as simple as possible. It's acting really well. I'm not sure exactly why um, Steve, uh, Steve, SLX, Van Eck Vector's steel ETF um, has done so well in this environment. It can't just be because there's steel shortages. It must be because people are really needing to steal. Um, I like it. It's a little different because it's thematic. If you look at X, which had uh, a bad report yesterday, ooh, it's down a dollar eighty-two at thirty-two seventy-three. It just went from uh, the eight. What was that? I forgot to type that in. Eighteen something. 1798. I think that was the 24th. 1798 to 34, a double. Something is going on. And that just tells me that the steels are doing very nicely. Oh, look at that. Remember, we said I put the down arrow there. There's your dreaded H pattern in the E mini. It went from a high of uh, 44. 44.16.00 round number, and we got a peak G slash C in the in the one minute chart, but a leg E and then a peak E in the ten minute chart. So 43.86 is the 200 period moving average. It's at 43.97. If it can't find some support at 43.92, be careful because that's where it's going. So it's, it's had the opening solver of pulling back and then running sharp. So I'm going to do the another one, uh, and that is. NUE, which is really one of the leading uh, companies in the steel sector. Oh, I have these notations. I must say, on a short-term basis, they get the little top. But this is the place that's been the go-to place for a while. I think time on steels. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. consolidation at a high level. This is NUE, New Core Coop Corporation, went to a leg D in the monthly chart. Uh, let's just go through monthly charts for all of them. Are they about to continue the rally? Uh, are they the leaders in, this, in, in, the, in the market right now? That's a question. So let's go to um, New Core bumping up against resistance at the 140 level. Did it make a round number high? Right there. 140.78 on the 16th. So it's just consolidating. If you go to X, US Steel, bad news comes out, and the next thing you know, it pulls back, but it's pulling back from a, a, a high. I don't think there's an all time high. I forgot to look at this. Uh, no, no, no. 70.95 way back in 2010, went down to $6.80 um, in 2015 16. I think it was January of 16. Um, and then we, we're looking at uh, 47 down to 4.45 and now back up. Look at this. Still a huge trading band. It's getting a little extended. So I think that right now the steel stocks are telling us they're ready for some kind of a consolidation. I have no way of counting this in the, week, in the weekly chart as a new leg A. Um, it, would, it can't call it an F because it started a brand new. Mm hmm. Uh, maybe that's not true. Maybe it's an alternate count. But look at that single leg. Hey, you'd expect that to have some digestive phase. And leg F in the uh, weekly. Yeah, I think steels are just about to have some kind of a consolidation. I like them a lot. But going in now, I think the risk reward just at the moment is a little too high. So CLF is uh, Clef, Cleveland Cliffs. That was a question. I would say have patience. If it goes a little higher, that's fine. I think at some point over the next three, four weeks, it's at 26.83. It'll come down below 24. And that's where we start to look at it again. Um, let's hold off. Okay, next question was, uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, that, 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 that. I did it. I did that. I did that. Um, ILF, we did yesterday. Just wanted to follow through because I said, let's see where it closes. So this is a different pattern. It's held the 200 period moving averages. The ISHA's Latin American, a 40 ETF. So this says at 27.59, it can go in a rectangle formation. It could actually trade from the 27, high 27s down to the low 26s and stay there for a little while. And look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart is, oh, channels. I said I talk about channels. So look at this channel. Straight down, beautiful channel, and then straight up. And I said it might have a little difficulty going much above 28, but it's got fabulous support of the 26.40s in terms of the weekly chart. So that was the one question. Then I said yesterday that I would talk about um, I would talk about the S&P today, technical Friday, and I'd get into that a little bit. So I wanted to show you something if I can hopefully pick out the right one. I think this is it. 
Oh, this is the one. <coughs> Excuse me. So look at this. I, some of you remember that I've been drawing this for forever. I mean, just forever. Because I used to hand chart, and it was the easiest thing to do. Take out your ruler on the engineering paper and take your pencil and draw it. And that's where I learned that you can sometimes draw a line and then the price goes completely in the opposite direction. And then a long time later, suddenly you, you see this line. Where is that from? And it's way back. It's a trend line. So I don't remember where this trend line came from. And look at this. The trend line came in and it started way back. Way back. It started back at the low of October of 2002 at 768. And look what happens. This is, a, I don't know if you can see. Yep, you can see it. See this great trend line? Look at it. It keeps going up. And then we bump into it as resistance. This trend line that you didn't even know about, it just it didn't exist because it was there, faded gray. It comes in at 28.72, January of 2018. Pull back sharply. And what does it do? It gives you three retests in the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone at 294.0. Oh, uh, September of 2018. Then you get that massive decline. And what happens? Finally, in December of 2019, it starts to break out and it breaks out and it does that for three bars to PG top February of 2020 at 33.93. Plunge down. Remember that. I don't have to tell you this. We, we know what happened here. To 21.91. And now we started a new rally. All right, so that's trend lines. Now the other thing I want to do, I'm going to squeeze this chart just to show you the incredible action. What, what in human nature, remember I always think that the price point of the market is basically human nature in work, human nature because people are pressing buttons and that's the psychology. But have a look at this. Look at this channel. Actually, there was one here. I don't have the, that chart, but there was a beautiful channel here going to the high of 1994. Actually, I've drawn these channels in forever. Um, but look at the big one that started back in April of 1994. I think 94, was it 94, 94? Yes, 90, 94 was where we went. So I remember sitting right here with Jeff Vinnick. I think it was May, May of 1994. Oh, I'm beginning to sound like Larry. It was a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, no, in fact, it wasn't. It was Monday would have been the speech by Clinton, the evening speech. And I had slipped on ice coming home from it, hit a tree, went right through the wind. My face went to the windshield. So I went to meet Vinick in his office with my partner at the time back at Fidelity when he was running the growth fund. And we were sitting there and I had these scars. I don't know. I should never have gone on my face. I had these scars. But I had mentioned earlier at a meeting that that was my price level was that the Dow at the time it was the Dow would hold steady and that the price that I had as the low had hit exactly. But then I made the error of saying, but I think we're in a choppy thing and we might come down a little bit more. Um, so everything was perfect except I should have said that. And, and looking ahead, we'll see, see what happens. I remember this distinctly. And in fact, what happened is we didn't go very far and we did come back and test, but then it broke out. It broke out in December of 1994. And it screamed to the upside. And look at this channel that it made. A channel with the outside Chapman Wave inside track repellent line. Hits number of times. He has the support line, and it makes a top in, at 1520, September of, 20, of 2000. Uh, September of 2000? No, no, no. It was March of 2000. I don't know why I put September. It was 1552.0. Uh, oh, I never, I never, oh, there it is. Sorry. I don't know what that, that, that oh, that was the retest. Sorry, I should have made that gray. That should have been gray, and this should have been bright red or yellow. Um, that was the high. And then we did a retest. And then we came down. And look at the beautiful down channel to the low of October 2002, 768. And look at the beautiful up channel with the Chapman Wave. Uh, this is where I learned about the rectangle going into a lopsided V-shaped pattern. I call it the gravy cup pattern. And it went to the high of October 2007 at 1576. And then it plummeted. And look, another, once it broke the support levels of the up channel inside track propellant zone, it broke down and went to 666.79 um, in March. And then it ran up in a beautiful up channel to uh, 
21.39 in May of 2015, jumped to 18.10, which broke that channel. Then it got, got back in, and that was pretty much the end of that channel. And now we're in another up channel. And this is the answer. Oh, it's a lot to talk about, but I want you to go through it. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Brent, how are you? You there, Basil? Yes, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Good morning to you. So uh, you'd like to look at uh, Microsoft? I was just going to go over with you. I know there's not much time, but I like to do the Friday option trade. And oh. so I got in this morning. Uh, there was that dip this morning on Microsoft. I bought in at 641 my time. Yes, got very at, good. Uh, it was like 7, 7, 12, I think 7, 11, something like that. For, uh, I bought them at 94 cents and I sold them at 230. Oh, fabulous. So, uh, congratulations. And you know what's interesting? It's sitting right on the 200 period moving average that has been a magnet. It goes up and down and sitting there at this particular point. So, you're out of that position, right? I did, yeah. You know my, my deal. If I right. make that you kind of money, I'm not going to mess around. I did speed, what I wanted right. to do. I did it quick. So, that was it. Speedy Brent. I like that. So Brent, <laughs> you got I, it. I, so yeah. I that's it. that's a great great trade. I'm going to do this for one moment if you don't mind. So Microsoft, I was asked about the Fang stock. So I'm at, including Microsoft. Microsoft, and that's what I meant that the big caps of that went. Uh, sorry, the, the the big stocks that had the huge rallies and then tumbled 
I think we've seen some of that rotation now into the fan type socks. So it's really, we're in a different course altogether. So Microsoft is really stalling. It's going to be digesting its gains. Uh, Facebook, same thing. It's, it's had a really nice rally. But at 212, I think it'll start to stall to the 218, 220 area. If you're looking at um, uh, Apple, Apple's the same thing. Amazon's at 161. It's stuck in this range. If you're looking at Amazon, Amazon's a little better in that the technicals have improved more, but it's also stuck. So your trade was fantastic. You got in and you got out. Hey, have a wonderful weekend, Brent, and thanks for calling. I'll do the same, Basil. Thanks so much. Take care. Thank you very much. So, folks, um, gonna be, I'm handing it over to Larry Pizzavento for my for my opening call. Subscribers tomorrow, Saturday, for the overview. We're going to be discussing just this and where are the opportunities. We've taken some of.